Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyText. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you a number of ways to fix the problem of laptop keyboard not working in Windows. First, it's important to mention that laptop keyboards are designed to auto-configure from the BIOS. So they are basically plug and play kind of hardware that should function even without Windows installation. However, after installing Windows, they do install some drivers also automatically to enable them to interact with the different Windows features. And then you also have the keyboard language package to further define the functions of the individual keys. Generally speaking, the operations of your keyboard are rarely obstructed by any kind of updates. The suggestions in this tutorial cover both hardware and software related issues that could be causing such problem with your keyboard. And now without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so since this is more commonly a hardware related issue and depending on the recent event before you started experiencing this problem, I will advise that you start off by checking the hardware components related to your keyboard, especially if you start experiencing this problem after making some hardware repairs on your PC. Then you might want to recheck and possibly reset the keyboard cable connector to be sure it's properly put in place before any other troubleshooting. Needless to say that if this is the issue, then no matter what other solutions you try to implement, the problem won't go away. So open your laptop till you are able to access the keyboard connector cable. If you can't do this yourself, then you can seek the help of a specialist. Detach the cable connector using appropriate tools. Clean the connector with a dry cotton. Reattach the connector firmly. Couple back your laptop and then test to see if the keyboard now works properly again. If that doesn't resolve the issue, then you can proceed with the other suggestions in the video. For the following suggestions, I will try to use only the mouse as much as possible. If you have access to an external USB keyboard, then that could help you get through some of these steps a bit faster. But if you don't have any, then you can also use the default on-screen keyboard provided in Windows. With that, if you are still on this login screen, then click on this ease of access button on the right hand corner of the screen and select on-screen keyboard. That should pop up a virtual keyboard like this. Now you can use that to type in your password and then log into your computer. Now that you are logged in, the first suggestion would be to run a whole Windows update. Now this is not very common, but there could be times when you end up with some kind of partial updates where certain applications, system files or drivers are updated while others are not or worse still, some drivers get partially updated and end up being corrupt. In such situations, running a full Windows update can be the quick and easy way to resolve this issue. To do that, from the Start button, click on the gear icon to open your Windows settings. Here click on Update and Security. And then check for updates. Now this could take a while depending on the speed of your connection and how much update it needs to download but afterwards you should have a message like this saying you are up to date and then you should restart your computer and see if that resolves the problem. If not, the next suggestion would be to reinstall your keyboard drivers. Again, we'll be doing this using only the mouse so right click on the start button and select device manager. On the device manager page, go to keyboards and click on the drop down. Here, right click on this standard PS2 keyboard and select uninstall device. On this pop up, click uninstall. After uninstalling, it will prompt you to restart your computer. Here, ensure you've saved your works and closed your applications. Then hit yes to restart your computer and check if that resolved the issue. 
Now, usually upon restarting, the keyboard drivers would install automatically. But if that doesn't happen for you, then you might need to install the drivers manually. To do that, go back to the device manager page. Now here you will need an internet connection, so ensure you are connected to the internet. Right click on the keyboard and select update drivers. Here choose search automatically for updated driver software and then wait for the driver to download and install. Afterwards, restart your computer and see if that resolved the issue. If not, the next suggestion would be to check your keyboard settings under Ease of Access. To do that from the Start button, click on the gear icon to open your Windows settings. Here click on Ease of Access. Then on the left pane, scroll down to where it says Keyboard and click on it. Then on this Keyboard Settings page, first check to ensure that you have these default settings correctly in place. Then go to where it says use filter keys. Now by default this should be switched off. If yours is switched on, then switch it off. If it's off, then switch it on. Here the idea is just to toggle the settings and restart your computer in between to see if that resolves the issue. So here as mine is switched off, I'm going to switch it on. Then restart the computer. Return back to the keyboard settings page. And then switch it back off and see if that resolves the issue. If not, the next suggestion would be to check if you have Synaptics driver and uninstall them. There's a widespread claim that the updated version of this driver doesn't work well with Windows 10 and could cause such problems as your keyboard not working properly. Here you should uninstall whatever version of the Synaptics driver you may have and then restart your computer. Upon restarting, Windows will automatically install the older version of this driver which is more compatible with Windows 10. To do that, go back to the device manager page and then search for Synaptics driver. Now, not all computers have this driver, so you can skip this fix if you don't find it in your device manager. But if you find it, then simply right click and select uninstall. After uninstalling, restart your computer and see if that resolves the issue. If everything else fails, then consider replacing your keyboard entirely. You might need the help of a technician to do this. If you decide to order one yourself, then ensure you use the exact specifications of your laptop to ensure you order the right keyboard. And while you wait, of course, you can be using an external USB keyboard for the time. And that is it for this tutorial. Hope one of these was able to help you out. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Drop us a comment if you have any questions or feedbacks. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for updates on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.